Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Flat Explain with another episode of Flutter News. Today we have plenty of fantastic news as Flutter 1.20 and Dart 2.9 have been released on 5th of August. We want to take a closer look to the update of PubSpec Assist for Visual Studio and after that we are going more in depth with Flutter's web support with a showcase of Rive 2.0 beta website. And in that end I would like to introduce you the Flutter package, the Flutter pen and the Flutter app of the week. If you are new to our channel please hit the subscribe button and now let's get started. Chris Sells, one of the product manager of Google, announced on Wednesday in a Medium article the release of the Flutter 1.20 to the stable channel. Like every release of Flutter, there is an incredible amount of improvements. Thanks to the fantastic community of Flutter, this release had more than 3,000 merged PRs and more than 5,000 closed issues. First of all, let's talk about the popularity of Flutter. What happened there? There has been an 80% increase in new Flutter apps in the Google Play Store. In the article Flutter Spring 2020 from Team Sneath, in April this year, he announced there are approximately 50,000 Flutter apps in the Play Store. Now, after three months, there are more than 90,000 Flutter apps in the Google Play Store. We also have some performance improvement in Flutter and Dart. As an example, this release makes font tree shaking as the default behavior when we are building a non-web Flutter app. The tree shaking improvement will remove the icons that are not used in the application and reduce the app size even further. Another example is the usage of the warm up phase in the initial display of your animation to reduce the junk. Additionally, there has been a refactoring on the mouse hit testing system. This improves the performance of mouse hitting tests by around about 15 times. To create more beautiful apps with Flutter, we have also a couple of UI enhancements. For example, the auto field for mobile text fields is after upgrade available out of the box. This feature will also be added soon to the Flutter web. With this update, we have also a new widget which is called Interactive Viewer and it's a new way to layer your widget to support pen and zoom on your device. Furthermore, there is a mouse cursor improvement on top of existing widgets. Moreover, there are updates to favorite material widgets such as the time and date picker, material slider and range slider for all Flutter package maintainers out there. The old pubspec.yaml format will not be longer supported. With the new update, there is now a breaking change in the pubspec.yaml file. To publish your package, it's now mandatory to define your supported platform. If you want to know more about it, you can find the link in the video description below. With the latest Flutter release, there is also a new Dart release. The Dart version 2.9 brings improvements on the UTF-8 decoder. There is a performance enhancement for English text by 200% and by Chinese text by 400%. And now let's talk about the extension of the VS Code. To be more productive as a developer and make the Flutter development more enjoyable, we have now a couple of quality live improvements in the Flutter extension for Visual Studio Code. For example, the dev tools are now integrated directly in your IDE. Finally, there has also been an improvement. If you move files around, the relevant import statements getting updated automatically, which is amazing. We have also some updates to network tracking. With the latest version of Dart DevTools, there are some updates in the network page and details UI. The network page contains now the timing information to the network calls or the status and content type. The details UI will provide you now more information about data in a WebSocket or HTTP request. 
The Flutter user survey revealed that there is a desire for type safe interrupt possibilities from the Flutter plugin's authors. To address this problem, the Flutter team provides a new CLI tool called Pygen. This tool is at the moment in pre-release state and promises more accessible communication with the host platform. If you want to know more about any of this news, you can find the link to this Medium article below in the video description. And now let's have a look in the newest update of PubSpec Assist for Visual Studio Code. With the VS Code extension PubSpec Assist, you can add dependencies easily to your Dart and Flutter project. With this new update, you can enable and disable the caret syntax for all your dependencies. This updates replace all text parser with a proper implementation that uses the YAML package. In the video description below, you can find the link to this extension and all other changes that's, that occurred in these updates. Our next news is the going deeper with Flutter's web support. Mariam Hasnani is one of the Google product manager. She published a Medium article on 29th of July. In this article, she took a more in-depth look to, to how Flutter used the web to enable rich interactive experiences from a single code base. She showcases Derive2 Beta, which is available for web and desktop. The best part here is a full Flutter application. By the way, Rive is a real-time interactive design tool that allows designers to create great animation and developers can easily integrate this animation in their application. And now it's time to introduce you the Flutter package of the week. The Flutter package of this week is Flutter Emoji Keyboard. This package is a fast and light emoji keyboard for a Flutter application. You make it possible for your user to have also emojis in your application. Flutter Pen of the week. This Flutter Pen is from Aravind. He creates this pen for the last Flutter challenge of CodePen. If you would like to test your painting skill, this pen is the right pen for you. He used the custom painter in a way so that you can enjoy the fun of painting. The link can be found down in the video description and feel free to use all your creativity to paint on this canvas. And last but not least, I would like to introduce you the Flutter app of the week. The name of this application is Paper Fortune from Burton. In this app, you will draw something and the app will analyze your drawing and share your fortune with you. We love the app design with all the animation which brings life to this application. If you are interested to know how your fortune looks like, you can find the link in the video description below. As always, you can find the link to all these articles in the video description below. Let us know in the comment which news was your favorite one. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked this episode of Flutter News. If you like it, don't forget to give me a like and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss our future episodes. And now have a great weekend and see you next. Bye.